Hello and welcome to this video on the fascinating world of mycorrhizal fungi. Fungi are some of the most important organisms on our planet, playing crucial roles in decomposition, nutrient cycling, and even medicine. But today, we're going to focus specifically on mycorrhizal fungi, which form symbiotic relationships with plants and are essential for the survival of many of the world's ecosystems. In this video, we'll cover what mycorrhizal fungi are, how they work, and the benefits they provide for both fungi and plants. We'll also explore some of the ways mycorrhizal fungi are used in agriculture and restoration, and why they're so important for the health of our planet. So what are mycorrhizal fungi? Mycorrhizae refers to the symbiotic relationship between certain fungi and the roots of most vascular plants. The word mycorrhiza comes from the Greek words myco, meaning fungus, and rhiza, meaning root. The fungi colonize the roots of the plant and form a network of hyphae or fungal threads that extend into the surrounding soil. This network of hyphae is called the mycelium, and it acts like an extension of the plant's root system, allowing it to access nutrients and water that the plant would not be able to get on its own. There are two main types of mycorrhizal fungi, ectomycorrhiza and endomycorrhizae. Ectomycorrhizae form a dense sheath around the outside of the root, while endomycorrhizae penetrate the cells of the root itself. Ectomycorrhizae are typically associated with trees and other woody plants, and they form large, complex mycelial networks that can cover a wide area. Endomycorrhizae, on the other hand, are found in a wider range of plant species, including many crop plants, and they tend to form simpler, more diffuse mycelial networks. The symbiotic relationship between mycorrhizal fungi and plants is based on a mutual exchange of nutrients. The plant provides the fungus with carbohydrates that it has produced through photosynthesis, while the fungus provides the plant with nutrients and water that it has extracted from the soil. In addition, mycorrhizal fungi are able to help plants acquire nutrients that they would not be able to obtain on their own, such as phosphorus, which is often present in soil in forms that are not easily accessible to plants. The relationship between mycorrhizal fungi and plants provides a number of benefits for both organisms. For the plant, Mycorrhizal fungi can help increase nutrient uptake and water absorption, improve resistance to disease and pests, and enhance overall growth and vigor. For the fungi, the relationship provides a reliable source of carbohydrates and other nutrients that it needs to grow and reproduce. Mycorrhizal fungi also play a critical role in ecosystem restoration and habitat rehabilitation. Because they help plants to access nutrients and water, mycorrhizal fungi can be used to improve the success of revegetation efforts especially in areas with degraded or contaminated soil. In addition, mycorrhizal fungi can help to restore the natural diversity and complexity of ecosystems, which can have cascading effects on other species and ecosystem functions. This makes them a valuable tool for conservation and restoration efforts, especially in the face of climate change and other environmental challenges. There are many examples of successful applications of mycorrhizal fungi in agriculture and restoration. For example, in the Pacific Northwest of the United States, mycorrhizal fungi have been used to improve the success of reforestation efforts after clearcutting. In Australia, mycorrhizal fungi have been used to improve the growth and survival of native plants in degraded areas, such as abandoned mines and oil spills. In agriculture, mycorrhizal fungi have been used to improve the yield and quality of a wide range of crops, including wheat, corn, soybeans, and tomatoes. They have also been used to reduce the need for fertilizers and pesticides, which can have significant environmental and economic benefits. Overall, mycorrhizal fungi are a valuable tool for both agriculture and restoration, and their potential for improving sustainability and protecting ecosystems is only beginning to be realized. As we continue to face environmental challenges, such as climate change and habitat loss, it is important to appreciate and protect these remarkable organisms. We can do this by supporting sustainable agricultural practices, reducing our use of pesticides and fertilizers, and promoting ecosystem restoration and conservation efforts. In conclusion, mycorrhizal fungi are a valuable and often overlooked part of our natural world. By learning more about these fascinating organisms and taking action to protect them, we can help to ensure a healthy and sustainable future for ourselves and the planet. If you would like to see more content in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching.